Okay, so I've changed my mind here and put back the name down here, even though it's not appearing the way we want it to appear for now. But let's concentrate on these guys down here. So let's stretch these out a little bit so they look more like that. Okay, so we can change the letter spacing or word spacing here, but instead let's convert these into actual buttons. Okay, so down here, if I add a div for each one of these, then I can convert that div into some kind of button. So open and closing div. So this becomes, goes inside a div. Now, if I refresh, obviously it's going to go on a separate line like that. So let me do the same for the rest of these guys. So about, uh, friends photos and settings so let me select now if you hold down control in sublime text you can select multiple places and paste at the same time so i can copy here as well and hold down control while i select and then just paste at once that speeds things up a little bit so if i refresh everything is on its line which is not what we want so let's give these guys an ID. So let me go down here and do that and say ID is equal to. Now we're going to say, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to call these guys menu buttons like that. And so that we can go up here and style them. So hash menu buttons open close bracket. Okay, so let's add some styles to these guys. So of course, the thing that we will start with the most is the width so let's go ahead and change the width uh, let me go back here width so i'll give the width um, 100 pixels should suffice and then but before we do this let me add a background color so that you can just see what's going on with those buttons there so if I refresh, this is what they've become. They are going all the way to the end because by default, a div goes all the way from one end to another. This is why they've moved to separate lines like that. Okay, now we can uh, add a width, specific width like that. Oh, let me leave that color so we can see what's going on. And there we go. Now they're still on separate lines because the default uh, the default settings for a div is block. So since the div is a block, it can occupy uh, an entire block by itself. So let's change that, uh, the display to something more display inline. Now, what inline actually means is that, uh, you see, this is a block, like an image is a block of content. But the text like this is in line with, like this letter and this letter are in line, then the same line, okay? So if I say display as in line, I'm telling it, treat this div like you would treat text, okay? So if I go back here, you see that they become the same line. But I still want it to maintain the blockiness because now it's uh, it's too soft because it's very possible with this type of uh, inline setting, if the text, let's say I had too much text on this line and it reaches the end, it's going to cut this text in half because it's just like the way it cuts, it cuts text at the end of a line to the other side. But I want to avoid that. So in order to do that, I'm going to say inline, but maintain the blockiness. So I'm going to say inline block, something like that. So what this means is if we get to the end, if we add too many of these boxes and get to the end, the entire box will move to the next line instead of just the text wrapping around to the other line. So let me refresh that. And you see it's much better now. I have some spaces there. Okay, so now we don't need to see this black uh, we just need to see the actual text. So let me remove the background color and leave it there. So let me refresh and there we go. But let's add a little bit of a margin, even a small one. So let's add margin 
and say two pixels okay so margin is the gap between the item and the and its neighbor okay there we go now we need Mary Banda to be a little bit bigger so let's put that inside a div since it's already on a line of its own so open div and close div and then let's add a style in there and say font size 30 pixels obviously that's too big so let's drop that down to let's say 20 mm, that's more reasonable all right so there we go and we have these buttons here so let's just put something down here into this segment and we can call it a day now this area that i'm talking about is this area down here so what i want to do is create a box here and another box right there to give them two distinct uh, segments so that i can put some stuff here and i can put all this stuff in another box so in order to do that let's create a div down here so we should be careful this uh, div is the one that contains the white which is what con what 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 contains all this but i don't want it to be in here i want it to be after this box so uh, i'm going to go down below this box right here and create two divs right there so if i hold ctrl shift d i can duplicate a line like that okay so two boxes there now i need to add a third box that will contain them so there were three boxes here if i refresh of course i won't see anything because we don't have any properties there now what i want is these boxes to be inside this third one like so okay so there's this div and then there are two divs inside now this div at the top i'm going to add a style and say display now the display in here is not inline it's going to be flex now what flex means is a way to help me stretch these guys to fill that space now in order for you to see that let me add a few styles here and say uh, background color to this one oh sorry background color uh, wrong again let me add black oh what am i doing let me add black semicolon and then let me do the same thing on the next one let me copy this and put it there actually let me use gray on this one so that we can see a little bit of a difference and use green somewhere there so let's refresh so we see nothing because these guys have no heights so let's add a minimum height as we did on the other ones and let's say 400 pixels something like that and let me copy that again and put it here so that we have a minimum height of some kind so there we go these guys are in here but because this display flex we haven't told them how much to flex so flex is like stretching so i want this one to stretch equally as the other one so i'm going to say flex one okay so the container has a display of flex which means whatever it contains in there will be flexed now this one here is telling us how much to to flex this specific box so let me copy that and put it here so i want this one to to flex on a ratio of one and this one one so they're going to share the area equally so let me refresh this and you see that here you see the green here and you see the gray on the other side so this is the two uh, boxes that are flexing but i want this one to flex twice as much as this one so i'm going to say two and refresh and you'll see the line move this way because this one is flexing twice as much as this but i want it a little bit more because if i look at this this one is really thin so let me do 2.5 that should do it and there we go that's enough so we have this guy and we have this guy now we don't need to see these guys they're just there to make uh borders so that when we put items in here they st they stay level and we put other items in here and they stay level 
So I can remove their background colors now, something like this. Okay. Oh, no need for that semicolon as well something like that so if I refresh we're back to this now I don't need this black as well so let me go up here where I actually put that black and remove it and let's save okay so it looks like we haven't achieved much but we have so let's see how that compares so the only thing remaining now is to add this friends area and this post area right here. So that's what we're going to do in the next video.